Hello! In this video, we are interested to compare two very popular environments. One is ESP32 from Expressive, and the other one is for STM32 uh, from ST, where particularly we are using the STM32 Nucleus 64 board to uh, check it. Uh, where our purpose in this video will be to uh, compile a simplest possible program on each uh, board and to compare those two boards uh, with complexity and the working environment one relative to the other. In order to start this process we will take our PC and connect each of the boards via USB. So from one PC we can program and uh, see the execution of the file uh, on the both uh, boards in parallel. The following procedures were performed before this video. From one side the ESP32 ESPIDF was installed on this uh, PC and from the other hand uh, the STM32 Cube MX here this one was installed uh, and after the execution the STM32 Nucleus 64 board drivers were defined here in this program in MX program and now we have a full setup for this particular board for STM32 environment. Then the STM32 Cube ID was installed. So uh, our starting point is two uh, programming environments are installed in parallel and two boards are connected in parallel to the PC so now we can compare those. Okay, now let's uh, create the project in the ESP environment. And okay, so uh, first uh, create project, let's call it Blink. Okay, and the project is created. Uh, automatically, the Blink library is created, and here you can see uh, the main uh, main uh, folder and the the CMake list file. There is a Blink C file in the main folder, so we will open it in the uh, in the VS Code. If let's call it uh, blink select folder and inside the main we will open the C file and we'll paste a few lines of code for the uh, blinking now uh, let's compile it and we will talk a little bit about this process uh, parallelly. So flash uh, no. So we'll have to go to the specific folder and then we can compile it. Okay, the first compilation will take some time, but uh, in comparison to the uh, STID uh, for STM32, also in uh, for for ESP32, there is some uh, add-ons add 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 for uh, the VS Code. I even did a video regarding the, those add-ons for the VS Code. 
But uh, from my personal experience, it's much easier to compile and work with those uh, files in the way that I'm working uh, with the command line, which is a will which is different for the for for this one for the STM uh, cube ID, which we will see later which work in the one integrated environment and the co the code is a few includes that we have to start from the blank play page which is different for the st stm32 and uh, initiate is a relevant gpio number two for the led which we have on the board says the direction this is this is the output and then we will change the state of those of the second second gpio on the board from one wait for one second and uh, the second pin will change to zero and we will went wait for one second and so go like this in the infinite loop and now you you can see here uh, it's uh, progressing relatively slowly so i will come back to you after the compilation will will finish okay now we are back and the first compilation is uh, coming to its completion now you can see it's almost there here on the downside of the screen and the automatic uh, flashing to the chip will continue uh, and then the execution when we write the, the command which includes build uh, flash and monitor it means that uh, the project have to be compiled which is occurring right now after it now we are seeing the flashing it's automatically found the a relevant uh, com port and now it's flashing you see it's writing the program and now we are executing and i see the led is blinking i will uh, in the end of this video will uh, show you the video of those boards compared and you can witness it by yourself but that's it this is the entire program executed in esp uh, idf okay okay now we are trying to do the same process for the stm32 so we have the stm32 folder which is empty so we are opening the stm32 cube id environment and creating the project here uh, it looks a little bit different it's a fully integrated environment um, new stm project uh, which uh, creates in this environment the newly new, newly estimated new, newly created project and our purpose is to to perform the same to do the blinking on the led which is on the board the simplest uh, possible uh, uh, program uh, on the contrary to the esp32 where the creation of the project was almost instant here is a little bit more complicated uh, process but it's relatively easy as you can see uh, first we should we have to uh, choose a board which we are working in with and um, i'm working with this board here next you, see, you can see it on the picture here okay and next uh, we will keep all the defaults parameter and the name of the project will be blink uh, next it's okay not necessary libraries stm finish okay yes now the project is being created 
and the perception of this environment is a little bit different where in the ESP you have the separate uh, folder for creation of your code and the separate uh, folder for your uh, other file of your project here you are programming inside the project itself now I, can, I will show you what I mean which is a little bit uh, different so you have uh, different uh, functionalities you can choose different uh, pins and so on but what we are interested in let's assume that this is okay we have to go to core to the sources and make some changes from in main where on the contrary of the ESP where you have a blank sheet here you have a full code and you are writing a uh, code patches inside uh, in, inside the uh, this file which is begins from uh, like 250 lines what we are doing we are going to the main and we have to put our code and uh, for example here user co code user code begin here so let's put it here and uh, uh, what you have is uh, we're defining the gpio write pin some pin on the led predefined pin which you can could see on the previous menu and could choose so we go to pin set and pin which is one and pin reset which is zero which is zero and then we have a delay for one second okay N now now we can uh, save the file and and uh, let's build it this is a building process and uh, the next one is uh, run it on the board okay blink okay so now we are flashing it on the board here we build it and here we are flashing it so I can see on the board and I will show it to you to you later uh, the flashing process on the board and now it's running and I can see both uh, of these LEDs are blinking so so what we have witnessed here is a creation and uh, execution of the simplest uh, program that I could find for this environment now let's go and see how it looks uh, on the on the, those boards itself okay now you can see those two boards when we are flashing and uh, initializing the code here you can see that on, on this p board nothing was changed and i just flashed the code and you can see the blue led is was uh, he start flashing now I'll try to do it simultaneously i will open the the id code and uh, flash it now i'm flashing it the interesting thing you can see on the sd board the blink blinking led blinking led which indicates the the code is being uh, flashed and you can see the green LED is flashing. So in this way, we have two blinking applications on two different boards from the same PC. And you have you you could you could see the process that was um, accomplished to do those two simplest uh, program on those two different boards. Now I'm trying to compare the final result from the software perspective 
On the left side here, you can you can see the ESP uh, folder with the Blink project, which is taking approximately more than 100, 110 megabytes. Here is the STM uh, project, which you can you can see is taking like 25 megabytes, like four times four times uh, lighter now if we dive in inside the esp and the stm project in the esp on the left side you can have a very distinct dis uh, very distinct um, uh, you, you can see those two folders uh, very different here in the main we have the blink file which we created and the C CMake list, which was created automatically. Here is a, on, on the other side, from, from the STM side, you can see that the code is in the side, inside core, SRS, and you see, can see all those files which have a different meaning. And our code was created here inside the main, uh, uh, main uh, file. So is what you have seen in this video is two different approaches to create a project file and the embedded uh, uh, programming for two different chips, for two different boards that we have used. And you can decide by yourself which is more suitable for you. You can see that they are not exactly the same. The comparison that we performed, I hope, will serve you in the future. Thank you.